Here we have a function for ordering food and there is a bunch of prices for different products. I'm currently using floating points for these prices, but this potentially leads to issues. For example, if I run this code, you see that it actually prints something that doesn't look at all like a price. And if you continue computations with numbers like this, you might run into all kinds of issues with rounding and other errors that might occur. For that reason, it's a better idea to use either decimals or integers to represent prices. So let's change these prices to use integers instead like so the unit that I'm used to represent this is cents. So this is $1,499 and the burger is $999. So if you run this code, prices still look wrong, but you can use formatting to clean that up. So we divide the price by 100 to get the dollar amount. And then we indicate that we want two decimal numbers. And we can do the same thing for the VAT like so. So if you run this code now one more time, you see you get nicely represented prices.